Animal Crossing is like the video game equivalent of a puppy. Almost everybody adores it. From casual gamers to hardcore folk who wouldn't bat an eyelash while headshotting a foe in the latest Medal of Battlefield Duty game, <laughs> the people who love Animal Crossing cover the entire gaming spectrum. And why not? This slice of life game does a great job in bringing out the obsessive compulsive tendencies in all of us while dripping with enough charm and irresistible cuteness to make you want to cuddle your screen. Who's a cute little widow animal? Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, anyway, the series literally turns over a new leaf in its latest installment, expanding your responsibilities from simply tending to your own home to overseeing an entire town as its new mayor. Yeah, you got the power, baby. This means you not only manage your own life, but the general well-being of your citizens, including playing resident arborists and planting trees, building bridges and wells, and even constructing a police station for the common good. No good deed goes unpunished, however, as you have to pretty much finance your public largesse. Fortunately, there's plenty of ways to fill your coffers with moolah, like catching bugs, for example, and gathering all sorts of items. You can even don a wetsuit to collect aquatic items this time around. And in addition to doing your own little thing, you can be a team player as well and take part in town events. Items continue to be a time sink, whether it be earning the cash to get them or designing your own personalized stuff like patterns for hats and clothes. You can also sell or trade stuff to other players who can visit your location if you add them to your list of buddies. One more way to visit others is through the Dream Suite, though it's more of a fun day version. Admittedly, Nintendo's online friend system remains cumbersome, but I guess that's better than not having the option at all. The tendency of some computer characters to ruin your design plans by building next to your house, for example, also can be annoying. Ultimately though, Animal Crossing is about celebrating the simple things in life however you want. You can go deep in debt and turn your house into a mansion, add culture by improving your museum, build your own club, heck you can even troll and terrorize certain townsfolk if you want. In a sense, the game never truly ends as you constantly tweak to your heart's content until you get the perfect town just the way you want. Folks who don't enjoy micromanaging life's activities might consider Animal Crossing to be pointless. But if you enjoy life's simple pleasures, love cute hilarious dialogue, and are the kind of person to adore puppies, then chances are Animal Crossing New Leaf will be your kind of game.